doing tonight? Are you grocery shopping too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we don't live with Betsy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're in the diaper aisle. <laughs> I know, but you need these. <laughs> He's mad. Because I stopped moving to get his size of diaper, yeah. <laughs> I know, he likes to talk to everyone in the store. Thank you. Yeah, it's not platinum anymore. Oh, okay. Say hi. Say hi. Who's that baby? Who's that baby? <laughs> Are you happy? Can you say hi, everyone? Yes. Yeah, is that you? Yes. Is that you? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. One, two, three. <laughs> Are you happy? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, we stopped moving. He's mad. He doesn't want us to stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He is adorable. Are you cute? Show everyone how happy you are. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, Tanya. We're grocery shopping. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be back to Russia because um, my son's grandparents live there, and I don't want him to forget about that. We have family there, and I love Russia. What I'm thinking is the school year in Oregon, summers in Russia. I think that will be best for him because he can spend his summer at the dacha. Okay. I think he needs some more yogurt melts. Yeah. No, not those kinds. The fruit and vegetable ones. The ones without milk. This one. Yeah. They have it? He's reading the baby food ingredients. <laughs> he is 14 months. some crackers. Does he need any more like fruits or anything to put in his um, oatmeal? No. His favorite snack um, are those fruit and veggie melts. Um, he loves them. And mm -hmm, yeah, he definitely sees those melts. Sasha doesn't want to buy the yogurt melts because they have too much sugar. <laughs> Only the fruit and vegetable ones are good. Do you have girl names picked out? No. Sasha doesn't ever want to have a girl. No, David does not like avocados. Sasha likes American avocados, but he doesn't like um, 
Russian avocados, right? My, my taste changed. His taste changed, I guess. <laughs> I know, this is kind of weird. Just thought I'd make grocery shopping more interesting. Really? Yeah, we have a Whole Foods. <laughs> no, I'm on a diet. I lost eight pounds. I can't go back to drinking wine just on Sunday. Sunday's no, we're in Albertson. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha recommends eating buckwheat and um, low gl glycemic and high low fiber. Low glycemic, high gli high, <laughs> high fiber high fiber foods. Right, yes. Now we're in the protein bar section. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Sash, do you like American food? Which one? I don't know, any. What do you think about cereal? Uh, useless. <laughs> David sees the cereal. <laughs> this. <laughs> we're in Lake Oswego. <laughs> oh, he says this is bad food. What is this? Oh, Pop Tarts. Pop tart, sir. <laughs> He's hungry. Yeah, okay. We gotta finish this up and get this boy his last snack of the day, and he has to go to sleep. Okay. Hi, guys. It was fun grocery shopping with you. Maybe we'll do this again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My job is going really well. I actually just got a promotion. So um, I'm moving into that role in the next month. Um, so yeah, I'm not as stupid as people think I am. <laughs> and just play a really exhausted mom on TV. Um, we are close with Sasha's brother, but um, Sasha's brother is off to do his um, required Russian military service. He's in the Navy right now in Krim, Crimea. So just hope he's safe because I know that a lot of stuff has gone down over there in the past. Um, but Ro Roman's brave. He'll be all right. Um, we plan on going back to Russia as soon as we're able. Um, I really want my kid to have a typical Russian summer. If you're from Russia, you know what I'm talking about. In the countryside, in the dacha, with grandparents. We would like to go because we have family over there. So um, I would prefer that he go to school in America and um, spend the summer in Russia. And um, so far, Sasha and Betsy are getting along. The park you guys were in, the Rose Garden? Yeah, I can't just move to the Rose Garden, I wish. Real estate around there is pretty expensive. Oh, guys, by the way, when we were talking about the most expensive suburb in Oregon, we were talking about Lake Oswego. We weren't talking about the Rose Garden. Um, but they cut that part out. I didn't think it made any sense. Um, someone on Twitter got on me about that, I, I think. Honestly, guys, um, I've been watching reality TV since... Um, someone just said, I think you're really stupid. <laughs> wow, cool, bye. So that kind of goes into um, what I just said. Like I've been watching reality TV since the real world and I've never felt inclined to go on someone's page or write a tweet or do anything negative um, regarding a cast member. I just take it for what it is, which is entertainment. So I honestly don't get it. Like what compels people to write these negative things? Я из Волгограда. Привет тебе оттуда. Um, hello from Volgograd. What is my skincare routine? It's a mix of um, expensive and not expensive shit. I will um, probably make a video on that. Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so she doesn't think I'm stupid. <laughs> Tired. I get it. Mom brain. You look different in a good way. Okay, I'm going to say this. I think everyone looks better in person than they do in their interviews. Like, those interviews make us look awful. Um, and I'm really also stressed and tired in every interview because I'm thinking about the babysitter. So I'm just trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Aw, thank you. I'm just scrolling. Um, what? Oh, this is a good question. Um, what was the hardest part of being on 90 Day Fiance? Would you want to be on a reality TV show again? I think my re reality TV show days are done. I'm too busy with work. Um, maybe in the future we'll make a YouTube channel about, you know, life in two countries and um trying to navigate that but i don't think we'll be on again i know a lot of people will be happy about that <laughs> well it says 90 day fiance is supposed to um would you guys ever consider opening your own gym someday? Yeah, if we were in the right place for it. Um, I think it would be great. Or if Sasha could, you know, be an online personal trainer, make a website. It's kind of doing that already because that seems to be where the future is. I like the early seasons of 90 Day Fiance too. And I also thought we filmed some real stuff and it was um, kind of disappointing it got left out, but it'd probably be considered too boring. But I think anything that shows Sasha having a good relationship with um, his family or his sons doesn't go with the uh, storyline we're supposed to have. I think there are about two episodes of 90 Day Fiance. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yay! I think there are too many... I like all the 90 Day Fiance couples and why Sasha um, stopped working as a prison guard. Well, guys, you saw the Russian hospital. Can you imagine what a Russian prison guard, what a Russian prison would be like? Um, he didn't like it. He um, told me that he um, took this job right out of the military. It's a good path to go down. And um, he didn't like it. You know, it's a really tough environment. It's really mentally tiring. You're on call all the time. They can come, they can call you and say, hey, you got to go into work. Yeah. I don't think anyone would like working in a prison, but in Russia, it is what they call a white salary. If you're from America, I realize you're not going to understand that. Um, it's like a legitimate salary. You'll get a pension. You'll be taken care of. But um, he didn't want to work in a prison anymore. I can't blame him. Like, that would fucking I don't want to have another baby right now, but maybe um, five years or something. No, um, привет, красотка, спасибо. Anyone who knows Sasha in person 
would say he is a good dad. Even Masha said that, but that got cut out. She said it at dinner. They made me ask, is Sasha a good father? Like all dramatically, and she said yes. <laughs> they didn't even use it. <laughs> I've been to Astoria. Da! Sloshna. It's difficult. And I'm forgetting it. Yeah, in, um, in Russia, they um, have alimony, but it's um, different. We send it with Western Union. It's really easy now. If you want to um, deposit in a bank account, it's only eight bucks. And they don't have to go pick it up. I've been to Corvallis. Uh, Kakom Rayon Jili Volgograd Derzinski <laughs> Seven wins. I lived in Derzinski. Vasma uh, Vasdushnaya Sorak. Um, I'm honestly forgetting Russian. I hear Sasha speak it and um I try and say something, I'm like, oh no, how do I say that? So I probably should make some Russian friends in Oregon, but it's hard. Um, teaching there was awesome. I liked it. Um, but the school was really disorganized. It was one of those after school schools. So they'd be like, you have a lesson now. You have a lesson now. I like teaching in Moscow a lot better than I did Volgograd. I went to Lithuania to change my visa. <laughs> Let's see, any other interesting questions? Ah, I would love to go to Seattle for coffee. How do I do like I like Russian food from Natasha, Sasha's mom. Oh, my sister's here. My other one. No, none of my family ever visited me in Russia. Dicks. Hey, man, I'm a broke 14-year-old. You cannot put that on me. That's my littlest sister. She's not in the show. Hi. I'm not famous. Follow me on TikTok. Um, she wants you to follow her on TikTok. I miss my family. No, that was Shaylee, my other sister, who you don't see on the show. Um, I miss Sasha's family the most. Um, yeah, we talked to one Russian immigration attorney, oh. but um, we didn't use her. I, I feel like I understand how to do the paperwork, so we just did it ourselves instead of dropping four grand. Mm-hmm. He has. I'm homesick for Russia sometimes, too. I miss my in-laws. We had a really good relationship. That was my littlest sister who does not make an appearance in the show because she's a minor. Whatever. It's because of dad. Yeah, because of dad. Because if you were 18, you could have signed a release. Mm -hmm. Well, it would have certainly gotten me clout on TikTok. She wants TikTok clout. Mm -hmm. It's never going to happen, though, and I've accepted that. And we haven't been able to go back to Russia. Um, no Italian blood, but I actually got that a lot. I got that in Russia too. People had asked me if I was Italian. I do like the beach and I will teach my son to swim.
yes, I loved how involved Sasha's parents were with David. It was so much help, especially um, the first month. I have traveled a lot. I've been to China, South Korea, Philippines, um, Russia, Lithuania. I was supposed to go to Prague, but I didn't because I ended up staying in Moscow with Sasha. to me soon maybe maybe I can practice my Russian because I'm honestly forgetting it it's terrible someone said cock do you something about my skin see it's gone My favorite mascara is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. It's a pretty good one. My baby is speaking. He says mama. He says papa. And um, that's it. If you ask him how old he is in Russian or in English, he will respond. Um, he understands what Sasha is saying. In Russian so that's pretty cool I am working I'm working I'm on LinkedIn it's not that hard to know that I'm working ha <laughs> previa is the live we are your fans. I live near that metro station in Moscow. Awesome. Yes, still up to it. Platinum hair was so hard to keep up. But it was a fun time to feel like a Targaryen for a little while. Why not have fun? And my hair goes light really fast. Because it's naturally dark blonde. Ah, thank you. The summer class Naya is Silva Sizona Spasila. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I can go blonde really easily, but then the dark roots grow in and it's just hard and expensive. So I said turn it into an ombre. So it looks like this now. And it's growing. Hi, Idaho. I went to Idaho State. Go Bengals. Go Broncos. This question is um, a fun one because um, Sasha doesn't really have a typical Russian guy mentality. In fact, his um, parents always joke that he's an alien. He's definitely his own person, which is part of the reason why I love him. So um, cultural differences haven't come up all that much. Is it hard to study Russian? Yes, because the pronunciation and the way of speaking is so different. It's like more um, forward in your mouth. And um, when I was in Volgograd, I had a Russian professor who would always make fun of the way I said, Uy, like in thi, v. I could never get it right. And he would always say, oh, it's terrible. Ujas, terrible. And so I felt really bad and I wanted to stop studying. Uh, don't have a ton of Russian friends in the US. Should go to Miami, then we'd make some. <laughs> I know because I've had friends go to Miami to have babies. That's like the spot. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no. I don't think so. Do to do to do. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> um, with a Leo moon, which explains why I'm on TV. Do you like borders? <laughs> I like, um, I like Sasha's mom's borscht, yes. Southeast Portland does have a lot, a big Russian community. It is tight knit, tight knit. And, um, pretty religious, I think. But, um, I don't know. There's a really good uh, store in Beaverton where we buy twerk and um, kasha. And um, what's the other thing we buy there? Grechka. So shout out to Tanya's European Deli. We go there a lot. Because <laughs> I don't like going all the way to South, Southeast Portland. Um, Roman's Russian grocery store was, I didn't like it. Um, I think the thing that makes Sasha's mom's borscht really good is that she fries all the vegetables in the frying pan first before she puts them in the soup. So they're all seasoned and good. Why didn't I like Roman's Russian grocery store? I don't know. Just don't like it. It was really expensive, like four dollars for a thing of Grechka. I'm like I just came from where I would spend five rubles on it. I don't want to spend four bucks. Yes, it's old. The food is old and it's expensive. The store in Beaverton is better. And Sasha said the twerk is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is. For all the, um, We're at my parents in Lake O currently um, saving up for a place. We were doing really well, but then my freaking car broke down and that was a big expense. So we're here for a little bit longer. I think we'll move to Tualatin because that's where I'm working. We're actually looking at apartments right now. We've started because I don't want to move to just any apartment and not like it. So I'm free to take my time. I lost seven pounds. <laughs> well, eight pounds now. I just stopped drinking wine and eating bread. And I started going to the bar workout class a lot. I think my hormones finally leveled out. I'm not teaching. I work in human resources. Um, it's fun. How long did the visa process take? I applied when I was 12 weeks pregnant for the K-1 visa. Because actually, um, when we were like, oh shit, we better apply for this visa. We looked at the spousal visa. We looked at um, all the other different visas. And the K-1 would have um, been the fastest. But it was still really, really slow. Um, 
we didn't hear anything about approval until the baby was about one month old. So it took about 10 months. Yeah, people recognize me from 90 Day Fiance in public. Thank God none of our clients have recognized me. <laughs> the baby's good. He's really big. He's almost walking. Today he was kind of like standing by himself. The baby's one. I, didn't, I don't like the IUD. It made me gain a bunch of weight, too. but leveled out. Thank you. <sighs> I'm getting tired, guys. So, um, my son's name is David or David. It's spelled like, it sounds like D-A-H-V-E-E-D -E -E in Russian, David. It's a um, more popular name in the south of Russia. Um, a lot of Davids. That's why Sasha liked it. And we call him David Ka, because when you put like Ka at the end of a name in Russian, it makes it cuter, like we do with Y here, like if... You want to make my name cuter, you say and me. But in Russia, they put ka like Davidka, Sashka, Romka, um, or they put ya. Mm -hmm, it is cute. <laughs> Today, we were um, FaceTiming Sasha's mom, and she said, David Dudichka. It's so funny. She gave him so many names. Yes, Roman is a very popular name in Russia. Roma. Spasiba. <laughs> but Sasha is the most popular Russian name. Hello, Kiev. Kolya, mm-hmm. Oh, a lot of Romans. My, um, my, uh, grandmother-in-law, she calls me Emilka or Emilia. She can never call me just Emily because for her, girls have names ending in A. It's really cute. Emil, Hello, Latvia. Mm hmm. I kind of wish my name ended in A, but no, it's Emily, not Amelia. Shaylee, I see you. Good night. Thank you. Spokojnej noci. Hello, Texas. Okay, one more question. Wow, this almost wanted to close me out. Shaylee is my um, youngest sister who you do not see on the show. Um, she couldn't take part. Um, yeah, Sasha has a degree in law. 
so he kind of went in a whole other direction, but that's okay. <laughs> He's a smart guy. He has a degree in law from the Volgograd uh, Institute of something. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't see your question about sore throat remedies. Um, I would say <laughs> try a shot of vodka. <laughs> Really, though, it would kill the germs. And um, my um, Sasha's mom would make a hot boiling pot of like this herbal tea and get it steaming. Then she would put a towel over you and make you breathe it in. You would have to breathe in the steam. So... I'll have to ask her what's in that, but I would definitely say take some vodka. <laughs> vodka. It can be a disinfectant. Mm, I'm happy. I have my good days and my bad days. I was feeling really depressed on Sunday. People are really fucking cruel, but get over it. My life is good. Oh, if you're pregnant and if it's, well, when I was a kid, not a toddler, my dad would let me take one shot of vodka when I was um, having a sore throat. <laughs> But also, my dad is half Russian. Um, but if you're pregnant, no, don't do that. I will um, ask Sasha's mom what is in that herbal tea. Because she would, like, boil it, make it really hot. You would have to put a towel over your head, and you would have to breathe it in. And it would make you feel better. You'd have to breathe in that steam, like, kind of steam yourself out. But I don't know what was in it. But she made me do it. Yes, haters are motivators. Sashi Uje, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's so weird seeing myself on TV. You know, like when you hear your voice played back and you hate it, that's me all the time. And I look exhausted because I was fucking exhausted. <laughs> But for the most part, I am happy. Do you wish you didn't do the show? Honestly, sometimes I hate hearing my voice too. And I know a lot of other people do too. Oh yeah, sometimes I wish I didn't do the show. Because um, there's just a lot of stuff that people don't really understand and they don't want to understand because people want to think that they're right. Um, so... No, I've never seen any birth tourism ads in Russia. All, um, everyone I know who has gone to Miami to give birth has done so through connection. So thank you. I hope our, um, relationship shows people that you don't have to be defined by your past. You can learn and grow as a person and um, you can, you know, make life between two countries work and you can work really hard and send um, money and everything that your family needs to them, bring them over and just provide them with more opportunities. So I hope that people will see that because if I 
married the guy I was with when I was 22, I would probably be twice divorced too. No one's perfect. <laughs> Betsy, my sister, yeah. Big troublemaker. Yeah, no one's perfect. Everyone has a past. There's a saying, don't judge someone by their past. You don't know your future. I like living in Russia, but um, when we were done with the K-1 visa process, <sighs> I was ready. I didn't see any birth tourism agency, sorry. Betsy is sweet. I have three siblings. Oh, another sad thing, my brother got cut out of the show. I saw like the notes that um, they were going to go film a scene at the gym and they wanted to like, they wanted Cameron to hate him, but Cameron's like, I can't hate this guy. Because if you know Sasha in person, there's no way you could hate him. Здравствуйте, ваша семья просто чудо. Спасибо. Betsy is fabulous. Hey, sometimes you gotta get married a few times to get it right. My parents are divorced. My dad remarried. His relationship is great now. So, it's life. Oh, another one. Do you regret being on the show? No, but sometimes, I don't know. On Sunday, I would have told you yes. A week ago, I would have told you no. My feelings change about it. Exactly the opposite of famous. <laughs> Betsy has a Macedonian flag on her bio because she has been to Macedonia to visit her friend who is in the Peace Corps, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, I get recognized in some. La la la. I get recognized in public sometimes. Um, I was born in Milwaukee, Oregon. I lived there until I was two. Then my parents moved to Idaho, and I was there all through high school. And then my dad moved back to Oregon. I went to university in Tacoma, Washington. I didn't like it, so then I transferred to Idaho State. My dad was back in Oregon. My mom was in Idaho. When I was done with um, Idaho State and I graduated and everything, I moved to my dad's house in Portland. And um, that's where I was living before I moved to Russia. That was way too complicated of a story for a TV. So they just said, let's just say you're from Portland. And I said, okay. Aw, thank you. But I know Oregon very, very well. I split my time here in summers my whole life. And now I'm in Lake O, which is great. I would love to live here, but I don't got that trailblazers money. No, nobody came to Russia to see me. Nobody wanted to go through the visa process. Thank you 
across the truth. Thank you. I try to be cool. Yeah, I was having a Targaryen moment when I bleached my hair. It was fun for summer. Hmm. Sephora, I think. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go to sleep. Unless you have any more really important questions.